Hi, everybody. This is Joe Ludlow with Integrity Repipe, and I've been getting uh, questions about uh, the white pipe. Does it fail like uh, the red and the blue pipe do? And the answer to that question is, of, of course it does. The white pipe will fail in two different fashions. There are two different types of failures. There's the failure where the pipe cracks on the inside of the pipe and the crack works its way to the surface and eventually has a leak. And that will be in the middle of a section of pipe, uh, not anywhere near a fitting. And that is the most common of the leak types. The second one is the one you're more familiar with. And it's we showed you a video clip of it. It, it um, is a leak that where the fracture starts on the outside of the pipe and works its way to the inside of the pipe. Now, I'm going to show you uh, in the future, I'll, I'll do, show you uh, documentation, the science of why that pipe fails. But there are two different types of leaks. Type one is from the inside to the outside of the pipe. As you can see, anytime you have that kind of failure, if you examine the pipe in that area, you're going to find many, many cracks. Um, it's just one of them gets to the surface first. That's all. The second uh, type of leak is at the fittings, and it's the one you're, most people are familiar with. That leak um, happens when the pipe at the expansion joint, uh, it's called cold expansion. When you expand that pipe in the ring and slide a fitting in there, it compresses back down and you'll get a fracture on the outside of the pipe. And when you get a fracture on the outside of the pipe, if you would examine it closely, you'll see other fractures on the pipe typically. Um, the pipe will... Uh, slowly tear from the outside to the inside and you will have a leak near the fitting near the cold compression white ring and that crack starts from the outside in the most common starts from the inside out and those are the two types of most common open ore leaks